Hello guys and welcome back to the Sidonian campaign where we last left off we have conquered all we wanted in Egypt for now we're trying to gather forces to get a garrison together to fend off any stray attacks that may come our way and to try and get into sort of the Middle East proper over here to then eventually work our way to the Panny Gardens. Things I've discussed in the past. Currently, Eumorides is heading back to Crete, but he is currently here, just attacking this random Ptolemaic settlement. Fiamager is dealing with a new threat, the Pontic Pentapolis? P Pentapolis? Yeah, whatever it is. Uh, so, I'm probably going to end up taking Byzantium, because that is Byz Byzantium there, which is a pretty damn good city, you know? It could be useful in, say, a few thousand years in the future when <laughs> something collapses or ever. Not to say that I'll collapse ever, but it's a good city, so I might uh, see if we can take that. Uh, that does mean I've got to go through actual Byzantium, but, you know, I could probably work my way around that. And Cleon is uh, over here or something. Yeah. So. I've got to return Cleon's veterans, is one of the things I've got to do. So he has all these. I was going to get some reinforcements in, but I think it should be fine. Or do I wait? Do I actually wait? Is he fine right now? He might be fine right now. Let's wait for some reinforcements. You had just landed. Fiometer had just... Moved over here. Can't remember what I was doing with him, was I? I think I was trying to get him healed, wasn't I? Something like that. And these settlements are just unhappy. Okay, oh wait, no, I, I just defeated it like an enemy. That was what happened. And I need to get him healed. Okay, I think that was about it. So... Continue down, you're gonna work your way to Spain at this point. And where is the diplomat? He is there. Hello. Can I be of service? You can. Did you talk to these people? A bit slow. We would prefer our thanks. Okay, that reveals a few fins. They have settlements all the way up here. Christ, they are fairly big. Yes. And of course, we've got Saharman. His journey, oh my god, he found water. Guys, he <laughs> found water! He found actual land. My god. Where's that river come from? It was all the way, it's, a, it's part of the Nile. It's feeding the Nile, I see. Excellent work. He's finally found civilization. It's been 80 years. <laughs> Not actually, but still. Right, well, with that done, let's go. We are under oh. Siege. That army. An army. What the hell? The Seleucids are actually coming at me. I need to re- I need to re-go after them. I've given them too much time, obviously. The Achaean League? Okay, apparently they don't want me. Yeah, I've given the Seleucids too much time. They're starting to send people at me. Oh, hello. Dear friend. Uh... God, have I- have I really- Do I really have so many enemies? <laughs> Everyone else seems to have more allies than enemies. Uh, yes. Our thanks. Why not? Let's have more friends. And these guys know how to treat me! They see an enemy. Like a potential enemy that they could make a potential friend. Oh, no. Oh, God, Fiometer, what, what is going on? No! We are under siege! Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Okay, this has gone horribly wrong. This has gone horribly wrong. All of, like, the North... Well, except these guys. You know, my new allies, they've declared war on me. My, my one boat has been sunk. Oh, for the love of God. Everything just got worse. 
Everything just got worse. <laughs> Where? There. Well, I, I have to say, you got bigger problems in civil disorder. No. Okay, I've got problems. I'm not the richest anymore. That's because I spent all my money on buildings and stuff. Okay, what do I have to work with? We've got a nearly dead army here, which will be healed in two turns. You're yes, stuck. Your original capital is being besieged by a full stack. Hmm. Sir. You could cross, or you could fortify. You can heal here. I suppose you should. This is now your new base. Yes, well, this isn't good. Yeah, heal up. I'll, uh, I'll speed it up, actually. There we go. Made more room. Right. Theometer, you gotta heal up. I don't know if you're gonna be able to rescue uh, these places. This, These guys are not gonna be able to break into the settlement. Um... Okay, I'm- the entire north just got set ablaze. <laughs> Christ. Okay. Sir. I've got a Cleon veteran army here that could go north, but- No, I can't have let anyone but Cleon do stuff with that army. Be sa it would be sacrilege. Also, uh, I, I just remembered. You're the cruel now! <laughs> you actually you got your name changed! You're no longer a butcher, you're just very cruel. And also, that's the kin of Egypt! <laughs> He's hiding out over here! And it just happens I just happened to happen upon him. Right, I'm gonna just somehow 200 casualties. Anyway, that's done. Can I just leave it unguarded? And just let someone else come by? No, I can't. Probably would have been a bad idea here. Some sewers to, for, you know, apologies and whatnot. Uh, I'll leave you. Stay behind. Take the fleet. I'm not... I don't have the lifespan to... Tell the Marines to not go to Sparta still, so that Spartan campaign is still going. Do not underestimate the Spartan campaign. It will happen. Uh, I don't think I have to worry about this fleet. I've got a pretty good fleet myself. Cleon's veterans, unfortunately, I do not have the luxury of waiting. I'm gonna have to send you back. Because one of those two armies have got to turn around at this point. So, you're going this way. What I need is a new force to be raised. So, what can I dredge together? You get some Greek Phyrecti. You make some more Hoplites. Uh, I believe you can make me some Cavalry. You can also make some Cavalry. Uh, you can make some decent Hoplites. You've already got some Hoplites there. My lord. Which I think was going to be in... I think I was going to send him as reinforcements or some guys, but... Yeah, who wants to be, like, the next general? Yes, I was going to send you back to manage roads, but... At this point, you are part of, uh, the Eumeridus' bloodline, aren't you? Let me... Let me just go down the family tree here. Uh, yes, you are his... Wait, I've got a son. Where's, where's his son? Find the sun. Where are you? You're- Oh! You're in Egypt! <laughs> well, you're a bit far away from the front, so I guess his nephew's gonna take it up. Um, yeah, why don't you go to Sosaclus? You you should be with your older brother. <laughs> it's just- It's a family, uh, family, like, lineage? I, I don't know what the right word is for it. But it's- The family will look after Egypt. It's the, the main part of the family. Which does mean, since you are the blood relative of the factionary, you're gonna have to take on the challenge. So instead of being that cushy job in Rhodes, like your father had for so many years, uh, the settlement's just gonna, like... I can imagine this. 
so you're heading back to Selwyn to get on the boat. No, oh, you know, I can't... I can't wait yes, to, you know, come back and just sit in rows and rule over it and, you know, rake in the tax money. It's gonna be great. And then, like, a messenger comes out. Sire, you've you've been called upon. You now must march north to deal with the <laughs> multi full stack armies that are now besieging our northern territories. Please go to all the relevant settlements and pick up any troops you find. <laughs> Signed, Eumeridus. And the the council of administrators or whatnot is like, God damn it! He has no command skill, but it doesn't matter because you're a blood relative, and that's all that really matters, is blood. So, you're gonna have to sit here, get healed up, or get rearmed, I should say. We'll move from there. So the north is gonna be sort of undermanned. It's been undermanned for a while. Get to high taxes. I can't start making troops around. The Greek sea states is quite a large faction they're gonna now deal with. Uh, Christ. Okay, what can I do about this? Got a few people here. Still easily winnable. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. Okay, looks like we're doing like a semi-night battle. We have no reinforcements. I'm gonna have to take full advantage of going for three different sides, given the amount of troops they have inside. So, deploy where we can. The fourth round was just to throw them off. Uh, let's just get the few that I have. We'll have one general per side. Euclides, you lead the right. So, you know that one? We'll have you, you, and you. And I'll even throw in a bit of cavalry. That's your group. So, group one. Group two. You. These two. Followed by both cavalry here. Group two. Oh. And you got these two. Group two. Which leaves your group, which is the smallest, on the left to try and do what you can. Group three. Okay. Let's do our best. Okay, what are we facing then? Nothing at the gate. Mm, one thing at the gate here. This side might have the most trouble. Uh, and this side has Asian archers. Interesting. Interesting choice. So, they do have the Zestophroid there. They do have the bodyguard, one of three. And they got two rows of pikes marching down here. See what they got for me. Uh, can you and on that hill? No, you can't. I wondered if on that hill you could actually fire over. What I'll have you do if you come along the side here, you might get a decent shot. I'll have you two follow up on here so you're ready to respond. Cleon, you stay at the back with the upper cavalry. I'll have you guys move up as well. And we'll make sure at least the archers move up on, in this case here. If I can start firing at any of them, that would be good for me. Nope, I think we have. We tried, at least. Ah, we are getting a few shots. It's, it's drawn them away. Excellent. Uh, the Asian archers, uh, they might seriously just try to fight me off of Asian archers. In which case, I'm just gonna ram them down with the cavalry. Let's see what they have. What can they do? Can they fight? Can they defend themselves? This would be a good Seleucid town to take. 
my road to finally finish off Anatolia. I really do need to deal with the Seleucid front, though. I'd still a massive the chunk of them in the north. Down. Our battering ram has done its work. Right. Get in there. Deal with the archers. You guys. Get in there. Try and form a line at the back here. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. And over here, yeah, I, I don't know if you're really going to get much done. We'll see if they can make a difference. They have. They've knocked a few of them down. Okay, you're still going. I'll do what I try and do, usually, which is lower them over here. And then try and get someone to go behind them. There are cavalry, which I have to watch out for. How far back can I go? I can go pretty far back, I think. Okay, Asian archers dealt with. There is the bodyguard. If it can, continue into there. Bring in the rest of the troops. We might be able to capture the town center. They don't seem to have their pikes there. Which, if I can take advantage of that before they manage to get one of these down there, that would be pretty damn good for me. Right. Can you win this cavalry engagement? I'm going to assume not, but give it a go. Bring in your spearmen. Uh, you guys try and stay up the fighting. Okay, they have avoided you completely. They're actually trying to head down here. Okay. So they have left. Okay, let's see if we can make this work. Start for the overhead view, uh, instead of getting close into the action. How are we doing? Uh, we're actually- wow, we're kicking their ass. Have they even- they haven't even killed anyone. Assuming that was a full Zestafroy group, we've- we've been doing really well. We haven't even put our spears in there. Right, can you fire? Yes you can, please fire. Your job is to just sort of make sure they don't come in and whack them. Yeah, yeah their cavalry is getting absolutely ruined. Uh, oh, okay. This happened. Infantry. Infantry. Back up. Do not engage directly. There's only two of you, so it's not going to be a good balance. Good, you broke him. Keep moving into the town center. Uh, did we lose? No. Okay, good. We've managed to retreat in time. Go deal with that. Okay, you've done enough. Do not get involved in that. You guys, deal with the remaining cavalry. Okay, General's Bodyguard here. Make sure you stay out of that. Now, I've got a big chunk of cavalry here, which I haven't deployed. These are missile cavalry, not the heavy cavalry that the... that uh, Euclides had, but still. A nice, juicy general's bodyguard that we're taking down. Keep taking down the cavalry while we can, before they decide to commit pikes. Uh, looks like this has happened, even though I didn't really want it to happen, so... Theodorus, you come over here. Can I requisition you guys to come this way? In fact, that's probably better than charging my general. Stay outside. We'll use you for another purpose. Right, let's get you over here. We need to sandwich these guys. And you... You just fire down that them when they come this way. Uh, why are you in the middle of that? Get out of there, you fool. Okay, how are you letting this- how are you letting him through? 
Why did you let him through? Cessar, you can deal with that. Why? I don't know why. They, they literally let a group of enemy cavalry through a wall of goddamn hoplites. It's, it's ridiculous. We've killed two enemy generals, though. That's that's not ridiculous. That's pretty good. Okay, your job is to just line up and fire at those guys. Okay. The enemy general flees. Press forward so that the spirit of his army is a broken tool. Fire. Excellent, you'll come back and hopefully die on all these people. There we go. General defeated. You're being sandwiched, so it shouldn't be long before we take the town center. I've got an extra group of soldiers here. Uh, oh, you're about to be back attacked, but we can back attack the back attackers with uh, our guys over here. Uh, where are you? You're there. You need to get out of there fast before you get pinned in. How we doing? Looks like this is going well. Excellent. Won't be long now. I just gotta find a way to deal with this. I'm gonna start by doing this. Come on! They're sort of... I don't know if that's an effective way. I mean, the shields are on the other side. We're just sort of hitting them in the face. Yeah, we're doing decent damage. It's sort of a side attack. Good. Keep, keep doing that. Nope, they changed their mind. They're actually doing something now. Okay. Break off the attack. Go get them. Ah, they're gone. Good. Keep up the offensive. Got you guys over here. Cavalry, go charge him down. The pikes are slowly dying. Okay, I think we've done a pretty good job. We've lost about 100 men. They've lost 400 men. Good ratio, however you slice it. How did you end up away from the rest of the group? I'm just glad that they don't all rush into melee because two of their own are in melee. At least I hope that's the case. Yeah, go, go distract him. What is, what is this pathfinding? Why is half of your group over here? God damn it. It's how are you alive? How did you survive? Well one of you might not survive in a second. No no this guy whiffed. He's he's intense, he's gonna stab you in the back though. Watch it. Careful! He'll do it! No, oh, he did it. If you can, get right behind him. Okay, how much? 18. Not much left. I think those two are the last two. Let's go into the tactical mode. I don't think I've even shown this. We got a tactical mode where you can look over the entire map. I think, yeah, that's all they've got left. So, as soon as these guys can work out where they're gonna go, and deal with these few remaining pikes, I think we'll win. Never a town taken from the Seleucid Empire. How did you manage to get four people to like independently attack the Slinners? What is this? What is this breaking off? Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. They're broken. I think they're broken as well. Right, and I'll happily take it. We won. We took the town. Good. It's some good news. Cle Cleon needs his veterans back. These slurs are getting battered. Victory! This land is ours! 
Okay, got another chunk of Seleucid territory. What are we looking at? We'll load in a second. Uh, looking at that big chunk. If I take one more city up here, I cut this entire empire off. But we shall not do that for now. I need to head back to the coastline. Do we have a settlement that can make basic troops? No, I haven't got one of those over here. Need to make that a priority. You're making forms, though, so I'll do it over here. Okay, leave behind you and head this way. There's not much else I can really do this turn, I don't think. There's only the exploration teams. have found... Oh my god, that was civilization. It's not even a rebel summons. My god. Yes. We're heading to Dubai at this rate. Okay. We're going to Spain. Or head back into Roman territory. Is that Rome? There's Rome. We would prefer our thanks. Okay, got all of Rome's map uh, information, which might have been handy before I explored all of Italy. Okay, let's end the turn and see what we get. Let us now talk reasonably. No. <laughs> nope. Sorry. Until next time. I've got plans. Hello, Akira. Dear friend. I'm surprised you want to be my friend. You're friends with Sparta. This is going to end in tragedy, but I will do it. Our thanks. Sure. Let us end the bloodshed. Pardon? Wait. So, just to be clear, this is their offer to us. They're not demanding it. They're not demanding I become a protectorate. They're offering to become a protectorate. We come to you today under the white flag for bloodshed would cost us both and change little. Let us put aside our swords and discuss terms. Was that just a demonstration of your power, your usefulness to me? Did you realize that this is the best deal you could possibly get? You show your fans and then, sub, you know, like, uh, sub, I want to say, just sub, I guess subjugate, I, it's probably... A different word that I'm forgetting, but do you subjugate yourself to us? Yes. I, again, that's assuming that your request, yeah. An agreeable proposal. Okay. <laughs> it's happened. Sure. Why not? <laughs> okay. I got a protectorate. Unless, I can only think that they declared war, and then they saw the balance of power, and it was like, oh my god, they're what? They're the, how big? They've done, they're in Egypt? <laughs> they're doing what? How, wait, Diodorus the, how did he get to the praise? He was like, the disgusted or something like that. Okay, well, Diodorus is dead. My god, he's been alive for so long. He's been a figurehead for ages. And that means, as he returns to Crete, 
he will also be crowned the king of of the faction of Sidonia. Ready. I'm the richest faction. It doesn't take much for me to be the richest faction anymore. The most advanced is Rome. Eumeritus the Cruel has risen to power at long last. It, the power has finally returned to the family of Eumeritus. Like, it, it's been in the hands of the administrators for ages, and it's finally been returned. Right. We've got a lot to do, then. But that's all for next time, folks. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And next time, we gather our armies. We have a protectorate that... It, do you only have one city? You only have one city. And you ha yet you have... You had two. Oh, sorry, you've got two cities now, because you, you got this one. You got two cities, and you had, like, two and a bit full stack armies. Well, I don't need to worry about the north as much now. I, look at this! <laughs> got friends! I got, I got allies, guys! I got allies! I'm so happy! Thank God. <laughs> I can turn my attention to the goddamn Greek city states. Uh, right, but then again, that's it for this part, folks. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Next time, Fiometer rides out. So, see you then. Later.